we want to show or we want to find the size of the angle that is marked x given that tqrs is a parallelogram so if you want you can mark these like that but don't confuse yourself later on uh, these sides are parallel because that is a parallelogram and obviously if that is a parallelogram we know the properties like opposite angles are equal and so on the other thing that we are given here is that the length pt and the length pq are equal to each other and that's also equal to the length rs right we are trying to find the angle that is marked x right where do you think we will start yes Can, right, can you name the triangle? She's saying we need to prove that the triangle there is equilateral. Uh, which triangle there? PQT. So we need to show that PQT is equilateral, right? Uh, and if it is equilateral, what will we benefit from that? Right, so if we, if we know that this is equilateral, then we will know that X is sixth, right? Okay, so now let's go through the steps of proving that this triangle PQT is actually equilateral. Now you can't just say it's equilateral. We need to prove that it is equilateral. Then we can move on from there. So good. Uh, tell me the one thing that you would say, because there are statements that you have to write down here, which will lead us to, to the conclusion that that is equilateral. Right, give me one. Yes, Matunya. All right, so we need to take note that RS is equal to QT. Okay, uh, the side RS is equal to the side QT. Uh, give me the reason. It's opposite sides, right? Opposite sides of a parallelogram, right? Okay, these are opposite sides of a parallelogram. Good. Then, yes, Kelly. That RS is equal to? RS is equal to PT. Okay, so you want to use PT. Or PQ. Do you see that, guys? Now, we are given that PT and PQ and RS are equal. We have just proved that QT is the same length as RS. But we know that RS, so you can write all of them, actually. We know that RS is equal to PT, which is equal to PQ. How do we know that? Given. This one is given, right? So this one is given. Uh, especially if you take these two here, if you take these two here, take that one there and that one there. What conclusion can we reach from those two? If RS is equal to QT, QT and RS is equal to PT, then what can we say? Yes, what can we say? then it means QT is equal to PT. Do you see that, guys? So we can say, therefore, uh, QT is equal to, to PT. It follows from that. Because RS is equal to QT. And the same RS is equal to PT. So that means QT and PT should be the same. And so now we can say uh, PQ is equal to PT is equal to QT. Okay, that, that follows really, it's just, that, just a summary. It means these three sides are equal, and then the conclusion should be? What can we conclude now? Yes. Good, so triangle PQT 
should be equilateral. Okay, good. And because it is equilateral, it means x must be equal to, to 60 degrees. Okay, I think that would be fine, but do you feel that we need to give a reason why x is 60 degrees? Because interior angles of an equilateral triangle, you can just say angles in an equilateral triangle, or angles of an equilateral triangle. Okay, right, so x is equal to 60, well done. Uh, from the same diagram, we want to answer the question why PQRS is a trapezium. Okay, so let's prove that PQRS is a trapezium or let's show that it is a trapezium. Any suggestions? T.S. Kelly? P.S. is? P.S. is parallel to, to Q.R. That, that is correct. That is correct, but I don't want us to take a, or to, to take for granted the P.S. How do we know that P.S. is a straight line? It's given, right? Is it given in the question? Okay. So, first of all, uh, please state that PTS is a straight line. We are given in the question PTS is a straight line. We, we need that. That is given. Okay, that is number one. Then... TS is parallel to QR. Am I right? Yes. How do I know that TS is parallel to QR? Yes. yes. So they said um, that uh, TSQR is no, TSRQ is a parallelogram. Yes, they say TSRQ is a parallelogram. So these are opposite sides of a palm. Okay? Now, if PTS is a straight line and TS is parallel to QR, then it means PTS should be parallel to QR as well. It follows, right? So that one is also, I mean, the line PTS or PS, you can just call it PS if you want will be parallel to QR. And now I can conclude that PQRS is a trapezium. So PQRS is a trapezium. And what reason do I give for that? There is one pair. Right, one pair of opposite parallel lines. Okay, so one pair of opposite parallel lines. 